Unraveling the Mystery, Understanding, Thrown for a Loop. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our English language learning channel. Today, we're going to explore a fascinating English phrase, thrown for a loop. This expression can be a bit puzzling, especially for non-native speakers. So let's dive in and understand what it means and how you can use it in everyday conversations. Thrown for a loop is an idiomatic phrase in English. It means to be surprised, shocked, or confused by something unexpected. Imagine you're walking calmly, and suddenly, something jumps out at you. That sudden shock and confusion is what this phrase tries to capture. It's commonly used in casual conversations and can describe a wide range of situations, from mild surprise to complete bewilderment. The phrase, thrown for a loop, has an interesting origin. It's believed to come from the world of aviation or boxing. In aviation, a loop refers to a maneuver where the plane makes a 360-degree turn, which can be disorienting. In boxing, a loop might refer to a surprising punch that catches a fighter off guard. Both origins convey the idea of being caught by surprise or disoriented. To better understand how to use, thrown for a loop, let's look at some examples. 1. When I heard the news about the merger, I was totally thrown for a loop. Here, it means being surprised by unexpected news. 2. His sudden decision to move abroad really threw me for a loop. This expresses being shocked by someone's unexpected action. 3. The final twist in the movie threw the audience for a loop. This shows being surprised by an unexpected plot turn. There are other expressions in English that convey a similar meaning. For example, caught off guard, taken aback, surprised. While these phrases are similar, thrown for a loop often implies a stronger sense of confusion or disorientation. I hope this video has helped clarify the meaning and usage of thrown for a loop. It's a fun and expressive phrase that you can use to describe those moments of surprise and confusion in life. Keep practicing, and soon, you'll be using it like a native speaker. Thank you for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in our next lesson.